Hey guys, so this is going to be my New Year's Eve look. This is actually going to be a collaboration with one of my good friends here on YouTube. Her name is Bella, and her username is OMG, it's Bella X3. So if you're not subscribed to her, make sure you check out her part of the collab, and then hit subscribe, because I seriously love her. I feel like if we lived near each other, we would just be, like, really good friends, because we have, I feel like we have similar tastes and personalities, you know? So, um, make sure you check her out. She's doing the hair part of this collab, so if you're looking for a fierce hairstyle, then check out her part of the video. Um, I obviously did the makeup, and it's super fun and glittery and sparkly, so um, I'll just give you guys a closer look. I really had such a fun time doing this. I never really um, played around with glitter at all before, so it was fun to do. Um, don't let the glitter scare you away. It's so easy to do. You don't need anything high tech or anything to do it. Like it's just really simple, and it's not as hard and messy as you would think it is. So um, yeah, if you guys are interested in learning how I did this, then just keep watching and make sure you check out Bella's part of the collab as well. Take um, anything that can act as a base. We're going to be using a black base. This is from Physicians Formula. It's one of their little um, cream liners. This has purple glitter in it, but it really doesn't matter. Um, but you just want to take this and apply it all over your eyelid. So this will really just act as a base and just make it even um, easier to stick to. So you can use a brush, but I think it's easier to just use your finger because you can just feel where your eyelid is. So I don't know if you can see that there's little bits of glitter, but it doesn't really matter. And this stuff is really, really creamy, so um, it's very easy to spread out. Okay, so I'll just get that out of there. Alright, so now that you have your base on, we're actually going to um, take our, where did it go? Oh, our Naked palette. Um, I don't have any foundation right now on, by the way. I'm going to do that after because glitter usually have a lot of fallout and I don't know, I just have my hair clipped up so it's not in the way. So what you want to do is take a blending brush and you want to grab a medium, um, a medium, uh, what's, what am I trying to say? Oh, I'm going to be taking this, it's called gunmetal and I'm going to take this, I'm going to put this in my crease. This is just kind of going to blend the black into the crease and uh, provide a little bit of color, but it doesn't have to be exact or anything. So, just kind of put that into the crease. Now take a, um, I'm going to be taking an angled brush that looks like this. This is from Sigma. And take that same color and um, apply it into the crease again. I'm just going to create an angled shape there and drag it in. You can just kind of blend with that also. Okay. Then you want to make sure your blending brush is clean. Then you're going to take a color, a uh, skin tone color. This is Naked, from the Naked palette, of course. And you're going to take that and blend it right above where you just put the crease color and just kind of blend it up 
to your brow bone. be taking um, the first color which is virgin and just putting that right underneath my brow bone. Just kind of patting it there. And we're also going to place that on the inner corner as well. And then I'm just going to just blend it with my finger. And then go back with your blending brush and then just Blend it quickly. Now I'm going to be using a silver glitter. Where is it? Looks like this. This is actually from Walmart. And you wouldn't think, you think, why would you get glitter at Walmart? Well, it, you have to get the, go to the craft section and get the extra fine glitter. And it's such a pretty color. So don't be afraid of it. It's really, really pretty, I promise. Okay, so what you want to do... So where did my glue go? I'm actually going to take some lash glue and put it on my eyelid. On my eyelid, okay. You can use lip gloss if you want. Anything that will make it kind of sticky. So we got the glue on there. Let's put a little bit more so it's extra sticky. Okay, now we're going to take the glitter, just pour a little bit, um, you can pour it onto the back of your hand or something like that. I'm just going to pour it on top of this little magazine. You want to be careful not to get in your eye, of course. You can see it's really sparkly and pretty. Um, this glitter it reflects like every single color so I don't know if you can really tell on the camera but it reflects like every color it's so pretty and you just kind of just want to layer the glitter on Okay, so that's what that looks like. It's so pretty and definitely for New Year's. I'm just going to take some glue and put it on my other lid. Um, this glitter that I have, it came with, in a pack and it was seriously $3.00. Of course it's glitter. It's going to be messy. It's not going to be perfect. So you kind of just have to um, just be careful with it. You can use a smaller brush if you want it to be more precise. But you get the general idea. That's what it looks like. So It's so pretty. Oh my god, I love it. I just want to be a drag queen, I'm pretty sure. Okay. So, next step would be to apply the false lashes. So, I'm going to do that, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I applied my false lashes with the Ardell. I think they're 113 or 111. I can't remember. And then I just put Revlon Color Stay Eyeliner in my waterline. And I'm just going to be taking this Beauty Rush Silver Glitter Eyeliner and just putting this around my tear ducts because um, I don't want to get glue in there. So it's easier to just take a little glitter liner and put it around the tear duct area. Okay. 
Okay. So it looks like that. Now, we are done with the eyes. And so now we're going to do our face. For my face, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Foundation. This is in shade 313, which I think is it's called Soft Honey. And I actually really like this foundation. If you guys want me to do a review, I will it on my face. This does have SPF in it, so I don't know if you would want to use it for pictures or not, but I think it photographs pretty decently. And it blends so well. I always like to put extra around my nose and cheeks. Okay, then we're just going to set that with a powder using my Revlon Color Stay. This is in medium deep. Okay, so that's all set. And now, what we're going to do is using my e.l.f. blush and bronzer thingy, my bobber, and this BH Cosmetics brush. And just going underneath my cheekbone with it, taking it into my temples and forehead. And then again under my cheekbone. And then just under my jawline. And then just on my nose, just wherever. And I'm just going to be using the same blush that comes with it because you don't want anything too overpowering. So I'm just going to take that and then just sweep it along my cheekbone. When you have eyes like this, you don't really want to do um, much on your cheeks because it's a little distracting. But you can if you want. I want to be bold. Okay. Then I'm going to take my... Elf Runway Pink Lipstick. It's just really um, like a light nudie pink. Yeah, that's it, you guys. This is my New Year's Eve look. Let me take my hair down so I don't have this snooky thing going on just go in for you guys. It's just really super glittery and fun. I seriously love it. I hope you guys liked it. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure you go check out, um, oh my god, it's Bella X3. Bella, um, check out her part of this collaboration so you can find out how to do your hat hair and make it look super fabulous. So thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.